Okay, so today I'm going to talk about a problem I had on my mind for a very long time and that's about making a flexible circuit fold. Let's imagine for a second that our flexible circuit is this piece of paper. We cannot sort of fold it like this because the copper passing over here will totally break. So we always need to have a band radius. Okay, so here's where my breakthrough idea came about. What if these parts are folded and we have this little part over here where the tracks will pass from that still have our band radius and it can still fold and act as our hinge. Meet my second version of Flexbot which uses this concept. The design is basically split between two sections. The part where the electronics are mounted and the other part where the coils are located. Both of these have a stiffener except for this area over here which have just four tracks passing between the two sections. So because of these two cutouts, when we fold the PCB around the dotted line, the thin part at the center will safely bend without damaging the copper. This simple trick wasn't that straightforward, in fact, I had this first iteration which was sort of a fail. In this design I was going to fold and then solder the pads, but the bend radius was too small and for it to work it had to become larger. So my new folding technique is much simpler, this is a very neat idea that I think can open up a lot of more possibilities in electronics. Just imagine the term origami circuits. So let's assume I will be ordering more flexible PCBs from PCBWay. Now I will test this Flexbot project in the coming days, hopefully it will work. But in the meantime, if you want to watch more videos about flexible PCBs, you can just subscribe. Bye bye!